Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Roy back out again with another Xenoverse 2 video. This video is going to be about 5 tips and tricks on how to become a better Xenoverse 2 player. Being that this game is 2 years old, there's a lot of people who have experience with this game. So you're going to want to learn these tricks so you can survive longer against these experienced players. These skills, these tricks are for online and offline, but mainly online because online players are more t unpredictable than offline battles <laughs> way more unpredictable when you fight against computers they move the basic and you know predictable but with offline people real people it's kind of harder to determine on like how you're gonna win your battles and how you're gonna survive longer so these tips and tricks are gonna help you get a better understanding on how to fight people online so the first trick we're gonna learn is sidestepping right here this right here this simple maneuver will help you survive 10 times longer in any battle i don't care who you're facing you will survive 10 times longer in any battle sidestepping help you avoid a lot of attacks and you will get out a lot of attacks <laughs> and if you're really good at it you could really get a good combo and when if you analyzing your opponent's move i'm gonna get into that later so sidestepping is the first thing you, you want to learn about this game to survive any battle just mastering that and you may be wondering, Roy, how do we sidestep? Easy. Tap L2 and tap the button. Just tap the left analog stick in that direction, like that. Just tap both of those in the, in the direction you want to move in. Simple maneuver, simple. You can go right, two, you can also go right. Go right, see I'm tapping the, the right way now. You can go forward like this, you can move forward. And you also go backwards. So you're gonna be utilizing that skill very often. Like like hundred percent of the time. hundred percent of the time. Next thing you wanna manage is stamina. The blue thing under the key. You wanna manage actually let me set it to normal because so y'all get a better understanding. So if you're being attacked or attacking somebody and you press X to get out of a combo or to continue your combo you're wasting your stamina like this see I'm wasting my stamina you don't want to do that you don't want to do that consistently because the more your stamina go down the better chance your opponent have winning so you want to manage that very well very very well and then if it hit a point like this right here where it can't I can't even snap vanish no more like this I can't even do well I see I can't do it no more wait I'm messing up I can't do it no more he could just do this to me boom and it's over he can hit me with a special move and it's over he can hit me with it's just over <laughs> so always manage your stamina right but I'm gonna teach you a simple um trick to um get that back up not a lot of players know about yeah not a lot of players know this um trick it's, it's kind of funny I didn't even know about it and I had this game for two years <laughs> I didn't even know about the trick. So I'm gonna teach you a simple trick to get it back up. <laughs> it's gonna be very familiar to y'all. Next thing you wanna learn, analyzing your opponent. Let me um, set Trunks a um, fighting. What? I just want him to fight. Oh, okay. We're gonna make him AI normal. See, analyzing your opponent is very well see oh no he hit me that's a bad example <laughs> see analyzing the opponent it's kind of hard because it's like multitasking but yeah dodging see dodge that dodge out of that always want to analyze your opponent see analyze your opponent see see what they're going to do how they fight kind of stay in the back and see how they maneuver see he tried to hit me with that move out the way i move out the way that's the side step <laughs> it's a side dashing and there's an advanced version of the side dashing too, mixed with the analyzing. If you t if you tap X in the analog stick in any direction and tap X while you're doing it, like mix all three of these maneuvers at the same time, you start teleporting like this. That don't waste your stamina though. That might be confusing. I might explain it yeah, really like really confusing, but yeah. Tap L2. Let me let me fix Trunks. Trunks kind of distracted me. If you um sidestep, like I said earlier, tap L2 and 
and tap the analog stick and in any direction you want to move the side step. But if you do that while pressing X, you do this. You start teleporting like that. You might actually learn this move when you um a special training school, I think, with Elder Kai. In front of in front of Gohan school. You learn that in this. You learn this in this don't waste this this don't waste your um, stamina, which is very good because <laughs> I've been OP, but this does tapping X to um while you in a combo getting out of a combo, yeah that wastes stamina. But back to analyzing opponents. Um, analyze your opponents because everybody fight differently. You know you got spammers, cheaters. <laughs> I mean I can't say cheaters, but you got spammers and people are really annoying when it comes to certain moves. So and they're so good with it that you might not even be able to counter it because it's harder to counter. So that's why I say analyze it, try to see if you could punish them for um spamming. But yeah, analyzing your opponent is very important. Next thing you want to learn. This is probably the first thing you probably want to learn. This this applies to everybody, everybody. Master your combos. You want to master your combos. And Xenoverse 2 hit recognition system is kind of retarded. So it's actually kind of hard to even like get a good combo in sometimes because they, they make you drop your combo. So it's really annoying. But mastering your combos, you get a lot of damage in. You get a lot of damage in. Now, most of the time. People gonna snap vanish out of that by pressing X, which I tell you, waste your key, which is understandable because you don't want to die. That's a lot of damage. So that's the time when you should actually snap vanish out of hits like that to, you know, not let them continue their combo because they could really violate you with that. So managing, well, mastering your combos, yeah, that that, that applies to everybody. Mastering those combos and see, like how I just missed that. That's Xenoverse 2 dropping my combos because they're hating, they're hating. And last thing you want to learn. To win battles, I'm, I gotta make Trunks fight me. I gotta make him strong, actually. Where is that? Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Super strong. There we go. See? Okay. See how we clash him? That, that's annoying. But look. Trunks. He might. He got snap vanish. You could turn around and hit him again. People do that a lot online. It's called back hits. That means when somebody snap vanish behind you, you could just turn the other way and keep attacking. Sometimes you might hit them, sometimes you may not. See, Trunk tried to hit me with that, but, you know, I seen that coming. Cause I knew he was going to do that. See, he teleport and I hit him back hit. That's a back hit. That's a back hit. That's a back hit right there. See? Back hit. That's a back hit. That's a perfect example right there. Back hit. Mas your back hits are so important. See, he sidestep around me. But back, back steps are so important. That's a back step. Back hits are very important. You 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 would finish somebody with those. Some back hits are crazy. So you could just continue a comp. Look at that. You could just continue your hits. They they can't they can't sneak up behind you. See? They can't just sneak up behind you. And then see I side step around him and get that combo in. So if you utilize all these things I just told you about, you really will become a master of the universe too. So the things I I mentioned, you wanna master sidestepping this. Manage your stamina. Mine's almost done though. Manage that. I just used some of it. You want to manage that. Don't use that unless necessary. Get your combos in. Get those combos in. Like this. So you continue with. He back up. So he's smart. But yeah, you want to you get your combos in. So I can't do nothing about it because I have no stamina. He could just continue it. <laughs> and you want to analyze your opponents. Since he's an AI, nothing really to analyze because he's a. AI, so it don't really matter. But yeah, those are the most important tips and tricks in Xenoverse. And the final, a final bonus tip to bring up your stamina. I'm a chunks regular. To bring up your stamina, most easiest thing in the world. Like the tournaments of power, just stand on the ground. Look how fast my thing going up. Just stand on the ground. If you stand on the ground, your keep your stamina will go up back so much faster than being in the sky. Look, see why I'm in the air? It goes up slowly. See how slowly he's going up, that one key bar? Let me waste some of it so you get a better idea. Alright, look how slowly he's going up when I'm in the air. Look how slowly that's going up. Look at the look how long it took that one thing to go up. Now let me go on the ground. Look how fast it's go up. Look how fast it go up. Look at that. That's really quick. Look at that. Wow. So those are the five tips and tricks to become a better player in Xenoverse. I hope this helped you become a better player and master online. Thank you for watching and goodbye.